We bring you The Witch's Tale, written and produced by Alonzo Dean Cole. Join old Nancy, the witch of Salem, and Satan, her wise black cat. <laughs> Tom, I am 13 years old, I be today. Yes, sir. Tom, I am 13 years old. That's right, Satan. If these folks will just douse out them lights, we'll tell them the finish of that yarn about the young couple from America who inherited a haunted house in England. They say a fella named Dr. Drummond put a cuss on the place cause the woman he built it for ran away with another man. Well, our young American couple didn't put much faith in haunted houses till they found a man a lying dead there. Then <laughs> they hear the awful laugh and a door slam shut upon him draw up to the fire and gaze into the embers while we spin the rest of our yarn about the house of the bridegroom. <laughs> the house of the bridegroom. <laughs> but then, as suddenly as it had closed, Inspector, the door was opened by an unseen hand and we were free to leave the room. I, I had fainted by that time. Oh, I... I can still hear that frightful laugh ringing in my ears. I took my wife in my arms and ran with her from the house. And the laughter had ceased by that time? Yes, as we reached the outer door. Then my cries for help attracted a passing constable, and well, you know the rest, sir. I merely know that a man's dead body was found in the room in which you speak, and that you are the last to see him alive. You certainly don't think that we killed him. No, madam. Both you and your husband are small people. Sufficient strength was exerted upon Mr. Fife's throat so that he was not only strangled, but his neck broken as well. Together, you couldn't have done that. Then why are you taking us back to that awful house? And at night... A murder has been committed. You and your husband are subscribed to a supernatural agency, which we of the London police do not recognize. I wish you to reenact the events before and after the crime so that we may possibly find the real killer. Uh, there's the house driver just ahead. Why, sir, I know the old house in the bridegroom, sir. Inspector, you think a man was concealed in the place without our knowledge? That it was a man who murdered Mr. Fife? Naturally. And he took advantage of the mansion's ghostly reputation to play upon your fears with that laughter. And so arranged for his escape without danger of detection. Uh, but how? He must have been concealed in that laboratory. I'll find out where and how if I have to tear the place apart. Well, here we are, sir. Let me help you, Mr. Sheridan. I don't want to go in that awful house again. There, there, dear. Don't be afraid. Come on. All right. Shall I wait, sir? No, drive back to Scotland Yard. I'll call for a car when I'm ready to return. Yes, sir. I see the constable on duty inside the house has all the gas lamps lit. <laughs> Every window is ablaze with light. <laughs> Evidently, he's taking no chances of encountering your ghost in the dark. And where's the doorbell? Yeah, I found it. I hope the man inside is all right. <laughs> you expect to find him otherwise? <laughs> we laughed at the stories about this house a few hours ago, Inspector. Now, after what has happened... Oh, I couldn't stand being alone in there as he has been tonight. I hardly think he's experienced anything to arouse his fears. Oh, here he is. Good evening, Riley. Oh, good evening, Inspector. I'm as glad I am to see you, sir. You're white as a sheet, man. What's wrong? Oh, nothing, sir, except this house is the devil. It's full of queer whispers like. I'm as glad I have to be alone inside it no longer. Don't act a fool. Step inside, you people. Oh, no, no, no. Come, dear, don't be afraid. All right. Close that door, Riley. Yes, sir. Now, which way is that laboratory? Oh, please, please, don't make us go there Inspector, now. Inspector, my wife has been through a terrible experience today. If you'll allow her a little oh, time... Oh, very well. 
Yeah, sit down and compose yourself, Mrs. Sheridan. I'll get you a chair. Excuse me if I seem brusque and impatient, but all this talk of impossible ghosts makes me sick. What? Ah! The chair! Why, something seized it from my hand. And carried it there, sir, to the wall and set it down. Something did it that we couldn't see. By the Lord, I soon will see. <laughs> oh, oh, that lock. Oh, thanks, Mr. Is that what you heard this afternoon? Yes. When we discovered Pipe's dead body. There's it again. It seems to be upstairs. Come on, we're going to locate it. No, no, no. wait. It means death to find it. Don't go there. Let's leave this house. Come on, Edith. After them. It's better to be with them than down here yes, alone. Don't let them leave us alone. Come on, quick up these stairs. Do you see anything, Riley? Anything. There it is again. Now it seems to come from downstairs. Whoever's responsible for it must have gone down the back way where we come up the front. Riley, go the back the way we came and see if you can head him off. Yes. I'll stay here in case he attempts to return. Yes. We have him on the run. We'll get him now. <laughs> He's down there, Riley. Get him or drive him back up here to me. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. Leave this house. Yes, that's not human laughter. It's the laughter of the dead. It's the laughter of a maniac, a tricky, murderous madman who'll soon be in jail. Oh, oh it's down there with that man. Do you see him, Riley? Yes, sir. this time, it's coming right beside you. Riley! Stop! Something is killing him. It's a kill fight. Riley, hold on. We're coming, man. Quickie, get down these stairs. Riley! Yes. Riley! He's lying crumpled on the floor. But who could have struck him down? The room is empty. Oh, thank God he isn't dead. Edith, darling, you must pull yourself together. Quiet, Mrs. Sheridan, please. I want to hear what happened. Are you able to talk now, Riley? Yes, sir. I, I'm all right now, but I don't know what happened, except that something grabbed me from behind. I, I just had to think it's close around me short and throw me to the floor. Then all went black. Oh, sir, this lady and gentleman is right. There's something in this house that we can't fight. I'm not ready to believe that yet. You must believe it and leave this house for the sake of all our lives. I'll handle this. Riley, where were you seized? There where you fell? Yes, sir. Just in front of this little door. That door is to the laboratory where Mr. Fife was killed this afternoon. I'm going to investigate that room no, right no, now. No, no, don't go in there. I'm going to find that strangler. He seems to prefer the vicinity of this laboratory. I want you to show me where the laughter seemed to come from when you discovered Fife's dead body. Oh, no, not now. At least wait for daylight. Yes, a call for more men to go in with us. No, no, no. If he's sitting there, that'll give him a chance to get away. Come on, we're going in. Go away, sir. There's no lights inside that room. We'll use our flashlights, then. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, this door sticks. Oh, I've got it. Keep your pistol handy, Riley. Yes, sir. Come on, you two. We're coming. It's so cold in here. Colder than it was this afternoon. And it's an unnatural chill, ma'am. I feel it, too. Nonsense. There's nothing unnatural about this whole business. A human being killed, Pipe. A human being attacked Riley. A human being laughs and disappears. What was it took that chair from your hand when we came in? Yes, what was that? I... I've forgotten that. But that chair will be explained like all the other tricks when I know the secret of that laugh. And I think the clue to that is in this room. Oh! Edith, look! Look, they're bookshelves. Well, they're opening outward like a door. I-, I leaned against them. I must have touched a hidden spring. These shelves conceal a secret passage. That's where the laughter came from. That's the Strangler's hiding place. Ha! I knew we'd find a natural agency behind oh, all this. There isn't a passage behind these shelves. No, it's just a shallow recess. Not large enough to hide a man. Yeah, what space there is is filled with tattered notebooks. Well, they won't help us any. Look! Above our heads. A hand! Without an arm or body! My God, oh. I'll know the secret of this tree. Don't you, sir! What harm could a bullet do to a disembodied hand? Oh, it's it. floating downward through the air. It's come to rest on one of those old notebooks. Well, it lies there open. Its finger is pointing at something on that page. Now it's disappeared, vanished before our eyes. With a woman's hand. No, it was a hand of the dead. But I didn't fear it somehow. I felt it meant to help us. Arnold, take up that book it rested on. I have it. What is it? Hold this light so I can see. Victor Drummond's name is written on it. That was the old doctor. It was the bridegroom's name who left the curse upon this house. It's his diary. Ah. Uh, Something is tugging at it. Trying to take it from my hand. Hold tight. I'll help you, sir. Read that passage to which the finger is pointed. Yes, help me hold the book. Something's tugging at it like 10,000 divils. Oh, be quick, read. It says, Today my labors were completed. I have found the thing I sought. Now I know that, living or dead, my vengeance will be satisfied. Vengeance? Help us. Now that we can hardly hold this book. I said fingers we can't see are trying to take it from us. Quick, read on. Here's the rest. I have at last discovered how to harness the tremendous force of human will. Human will? Help us hold on, well, Read it. Read it all. I shall... I shall leave my hate behind to live within these walls forever. Oh, oh the other hands let go the book and knock my flashlight to the floor. Oh, they've got mine. Oh, we're in the dark. Come on, quick, out this door. Uh, it's uh, arm shut up. And I can't open it. Wait, help me, Riley. Together. Our shoulders. Uh, uh, it's with us in this room. Oh, on, there. Two gleaming eyes. Eyes that shine in 
stop Your me. pistol, Riley. Fire at them. Fire! Oh, oh you no know, use in your shooting. Bullets can't harm the devil of ghosts from out the grave. Oh, oh, Edith! Edith, where are you? Edith, I can't see you in this darkness. I found her. She's here. Oh, Arnold, Edith. I felt its fingers on me. So is it. It's, it's got me now. Icy fingers. I throat. Oh, 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 light, 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 light a match, for God's sake, light. Break open that door. It's our only chance to help him and I'm yeah, Riley, I'm with, with you. you. I'm with you. Edith, darling, don't leave my side oh, again. No, no. We've got it. Oh, oh. blessed light. The inspector, where is he? On the floor. His head is bent sideways. His neck is broken. He's dead. <laughs> It's laughing. It means to kill us all. Run for your lives. Run, run, run. Oh, 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 oh. Sure, sir. But if it were not broad daylight, you'd never have gotten me here in this ghastly laboratory after the escape we had last night. One of us didn't escape. Oh, I know. I'm afraid even in this sunlight. Because Inspector Chase and so many others have met death here, we had to come back, Edith. And with a few more blows of these picks, Riley, I hope to end the dangers of Bridegroom's house forever. Oh, you think that ghostly hand pointed the way? Yes. I believe it was the hand of the woman who brought about Victor Drummond's mad desire for vengeance, of which that journal told. I believe last night that the dead spoke wordlessly to us. Ah, mm. oh, Mr. Sheridan, my pick is broken through the wall. Oh, yes. Your guess was right. Arnold, there is another cubby hole behind that recess where we found the notebook. Yes, and then that cubby hole is the thing that we must find. Something's trying to keep us from finding it, sir. Even in this blessed sunlight, I feel icy fingers that they throw. Yes, I feel them too. But in the day, they have no strength. Ay, evil things have only power in darkness. Come on, quick. Make this opening larger. There's the thing we want. You mean that little crystal glow? I think that's it. Look. It's engraved with cabalistic symbols of the alchemist and wizard. And we know that Dr. Drummond was a student of black magic. Black magic? Yes. But then that globe, I think, has harnessed the human will of which his journal spoke. His will for vengeance it still lives. Although his body has been dust a hundred years. It's not possible. So one who had never heard a radio or seen an aeroplane might say of them, nothing is impossible. Lights gleam within the globe. Lights of hell, like them eyes we saw here last night. Soon they'll gleam no more. Smash it with your pick. Help me, Riley. The icy hands are holding me, fighting to retain their power to hate and kill. I would you, sir. Together we'll throw them off. Now with our forearms, bring down the pick. In the center of that globe. No. Ah, we've done it. It's gone. Shattered. Not even dust is left. The icy hand no longer holds. They too are gone. Destroyed forever, like the mad will they obeyed. But the unseen strangler will laugh no more. No. The house of the bridegroom is no longer a place accursed. <laughs> well, that's the end of that, son, Satan. We'll have another pussy yarn to tell you soon. <laughs>